Good morning, friends. I am Dr. Ashish Sarwal, urologist, prostate cancer specialist, and robotic surgeon from New Delhi, India. Today, I am going to introduce this patient of mine who I did robotic surgery four years ago. Today, it is November 2023, and we did his surgery in April 2019. He was suffering from prostate cancer. He was 48 years of age at that time. His doctor in Zambia referred him to me for treatment. When he came to us, we did all the tests and after that we decided to do robotic surgery as he had a localized cancer. So by robotic surgery, we can remove the whole prostate and make the patient cancer free. So we did the robotic surgery in April 2019 and after that I've been in regular touch with him. He took some time to recover but right now after four years he is cancer free he does his PSA regularly his PSA is zero it was nine at the time of diagnosis but after surgery it is zero and it has been zero for the past four years and he is totally continent he is able to move around do exercises without the need of diaper and he is able to have intercourse with his partner so he is totally continent and totally potent this is because when we do the surgery we do nerve sparing surgery with amniotic wrap. With the amniotic wrap, we are able to help in nerve regeneration so that the patient recovers quickly from the prostate cancer treatment. So let us speak to Mr. Tembo after his successful robotic surgery and let us know his experience. Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Joseph Tembo, coming from uh, Zambia, Lusaka. I was uh, diagnosed with uh, prostate in uh, 2019 at the age of 48. It was a, a stressful period for me. I didn't understand it. It came at the time when I was young. I always thought that prostate cancer can only attack people over 60 years. But uh, for me, it was uh, something you know strange. I couldn't accept it. Till I started uh, consulting my urologist doctor in Zambia, uh, Dr. Basan, who referred me to India. After doing all the examinations, he said, well, at your age, it's better you go to India and uh, do uh, surgery, uh, of which I did. I made arrangements, I had a month to prepare myself. Um, then um, I came to New Delhi, I met Dr. Ashishi, and then I did all the tests, and it was confirmed that I was actually at the prostate. An um, arrangement was made, I should uh, prepare for my uh, surgery. I did the surgery and uh, all went well. I stayed in uh, Delhi for about two weeks or so. As an outside patient for a few days just to observe, but then uh, he said I'm okay, I could go. Of course it was a challenge for me, I didn't understand exactly what it meant. But then um, later I went home, I continued observing what he told me to do, you know, exercising and um, a bit of medication. Within a year, I could see that uh, there was, um, uh, I was responding positively. Well, I'd hoped that uh, possibly I'll, I'll have uh, an erection within a short time, but uh, it, it took me, it took me almost a year in eighth, eighth. Yes, a seventh to eighth month, I could see some sign that I'm getting, I'm getting back my, my erection. But all that was a result of exercise and the medicine that he gave me, and then uh, uh, the urine also improved. My PSA after doing tests in Zambia, since I continued doing tests and seeing the doctors there, it was actually improving. To me, it was like a miracle. I couldn't believe it that uh, you know it, uh, prostate could uh, actually be sorted out within short term and gain back my my erection. So far, this is the fourth year, I have not had any problems. Um, I'm, I'm still, my PSA levels are still okay. Uh, I don't have any urine problems. I've been, I've been okay, I've been okay. It was a miracle that uh, actually the problem could be sorted out within, within a year, so to speak. By any standard, I believe that takes long people, second year, third year. But for me, it was within a year. I thanked Dr. Shisha, I couldn't believe it. I was so worried at my age to, you know, have uh, cancer. And then uh, I was wondering, uh, worried how, how was I going to live at my age. But uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm able to, to have an erection. My sex life is, is normal. 
uh, I'm not complaining. So I just came back again for a second time to meet the uh, doctor. I think we are very happy with, with my wife. I don't have any problem anymore. And all I'm encouraging is that for those who have any problem who think that prostate can be sorted out, please get in touch with Dr. Ashish. No continence issues, no urine problems, nothing, no problem whatsoever. I'm perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, so uh, thank you Mr. Tembo. He told his life uh, experience, it's a real experience which he has had in the past four years. So, especially in patients who have prostate cancer in the young, they are the people who are maximum worried about the erections, about the urine problems, that what if the problem happens, my whole life will be gone. And I have seen that the people who are young and healthy, they recover the fastest and they have maximum recovery. So if you are also young and you are having prostate cancer, best is to get the prostate cancer out because that way the cancer will be out, the prostate will be out, you will be sorted for life. If you don't do that, you go for watchful waiting or you go for radiation, you will have problems all your life and you will never be cancer free. So I hope you like this interview and if you are also suffering from prostate cancer and you want opinion from me, you can contact me on email or WhatsApp. My email address and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you. Thank you. The other thing I forgot to say is that uh, after prostate was removed, there was no need of going through any chemotherapy. I uh, actually got cured. Uh, I got better without going through uh, the, uh, receiving any chemotherapy. Any chemotherapy, no, no. Or radiation. Or radiation, nothing, nothing. It, it, uh, I mean, it got, I got better. I got better with the guidance from uh, my doctor. Thank you so much, Ronnie. Thank you.